Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 21 of our All the Mod 6 to the Sky Let's Play series. For today, I am trying to figure out how to get into Batania. <clears throat> um, I don't know. My only hope here is um, Batania mushrooms. Um, if I can get a like mushroom, those can be used to make pedestals, correct? Petals, right? Is that right? That it's like my only hope here is I can use a mushroom to get a petal, but I don't I don't even know if that if that's accurate. Oh, yeah, that and that makes white dye. See, mm. honestly, I don't know. I don't know if we can. Can I smell that? That's a roasted mushroom. Smoke it. Um, nope. And you can't, yeah, they, oh, uh, okay, they can be used in place. So, like, if I look at a pure daisy, mushrooms can be used in place of, or the recipe, right? Okay, so we can use one, okay, okay, okay. So we can use the mushrooms in place, because I think we can get into mushrooms. In order to do so, we need nature seeds, um, which is a tier two seed from uh, mystical agriculture. So we need a couple things. We need this nature agglomer ratio and we need prudentium essence. The nature agglomer ratio requires pumpkin, potato, cactus, and sugar cane. Um, both the pumpkin and the cactus, or the pumpkin and the potato, I did go ahead and plant and make. And I just threw a pedestal down to speed up the process there. So those ones are good. Um, as for the rest, that is a good question. Um, I do already have, look at all those vines. That tree is going crazy. Um, let's go ahead and chop down this bamboo, grab all the bamboo, all of the sugar cane, and we'll grab the cactus while we're at it. That way all these can start growing again and be back to default. Um, so yeah, that should be everything we need there. We are going to need these seed bases and the potatoes can go in. Um, I do not need the hoe on me anymore. <clears throat> um, yeah. So that should be everything we need to make four of these, and it is sweet. Now, we also need Prudentium Essence. In order to get Prudentium Essence, we need to get a Infusion Crystal. We have to infuse up to the next tier of our Prudentium. So we need an Infusion Crystal. In order to get an Infusion Crystal, we have to just craft it with some Prosperity Shards and Diamonds and things like that. Fairly easy. Caveat with this thing is, is if you ever get into auto crafting, you can't... Actually, no, I don't think you can because this has NBT data, and so auto crafting with it isn't going to work properly. Um, so yeah, bummer, but that's just the way that things are. Uh, so anyway, so let's go ahead and get the nature seeds going, and then I need to get them actually growing because I need some of the essence. Uh, that was weird. I like backed up, and then I did not hit the button to open my inventory. It just opened on its own. Um, but nature seeds, this is what we need. So what I need to do is come over here and we are going to plant these. Um, we can plant these in the center section here, but I need to get my pedestal from over here because I no longer need this pedestal. I need those nature seeds to grow. So let's go ahead and get our pedestal. Bam and our this guy bam and it'll start growing that let's go ahead and get some bone meal bam and you know what while i'm here i thought i remember seeing that you could take a block of glowstone and put it on a pedestal and it'll turn it into a light i thought that was a thing but maybe not um I'll have to look that up, because I thought that was a thing. Maybe it's glowstone dust. Nope. Okay. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I need this nature essence in order to make a... Um, it is... Actually, let's do Ant Batania Mushroom. I, there was a way. I looked at it earlier. Um, so in order to make a mushroom... Brown mushroom. I don't know if it really matters, but... Uh, we need dirt essence and yeah, so it doesn't matter which one. Um, 
But we just need dirt essence and nature essence, which we have the dirt essence, and then we can make a mushroom. So let's just go ahead and break this for a little bit uh, manually, and then I was gonna say interesting, wonder why it wasn't going. Okay, so that gets us some of that. I think that's enough. Um, real quick, I'm gonna look into making that a light because this is, uh, actually no, we're okay. Okay, yeah. I just didn't want mobs to spawn there, but it looks like we're okay. So, um, mushroom is this, so that's going to make us eight mushrooms. And then from there, if we use dye, which is just this, we can get these. And that's it, right? And you can be used to make us a pure daisy. Right? Yeah, just need four. So we just need a petal apothecary, which we can use one of those mushrooms for. Yeah, there we go. Whew, we can get into Batania. Don't have to worry. Um, so then we just need to go up top. And this is all this in the name of making ice seeds, which I don't even really know if I need ice seeds. But you know what? I just want them. It was a problem to be solved. How do we get into Batania? We're going to need to get into it eventually anyway. So, yeah. Uh, that's that's how you get into Batania. If for some reason you're not getting Batania flowers like me, this is how you can get into Batania. Now, how we get the other mushrooms, I'm going to assume it's just the dyes. So, like, if we want to get into a cyan, it's a mushroom and a dye. So, that's easy. Um, but eventually, I think we'll, we'll be able to get the essence and not have to worry about it. Um, so, for Batania, honestly, I don't have a good area for me to set this up. So, let's just do this here. Um, we need some seeds. Yeah, and I just need one pure daisy. So one, oops, I meant to drop that. So drop into there with that, and we have a pure daisy. Nice, that's what we needed. Um, so then let's go ahead and we'll just put this downstairs for the moment. Because we have to convert um, water into, so I need to get some water. Water into snow. And I need four of those at least. Um, so let's get more buckets. By the way, uh, you can enchant a bucket with infinity. Just saying. Uh, so just something to keep in mind. When we get into an enchanting table, we can uh, enchant water. Oh, but wait. How do we solve that problem? Um, because the pure daisy only works on the level that it's at, but it's supposed to be able to convert water. Uh, huh. And it knocks the pure daisy down. Hmm. Water into snow. Hmm. We need to be able to contain the water as well as stop the pure daisy from falling but the pure daisy pure daisy only works in its area here um good question does it no yeah it doesn't work on the the level below um yeah how do we get the water to not knock the pure daisy down I don't think there's anything I can put in this block to stop it. Give me a second. Let me look this up. I don't know why I'm dumb, but I figured I, I just realized. Put the water here, the Andrada, and then you'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah, in the corners is fine. And I don't care if it, you know, washes away all this stuff. That doesn't matter to me. Or you could turn this into a floating daisy and put it in the middle, and then you could do all the corners. But uh, for our purposes, we're good to go. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and tick accelerate this. If you didn't know, you can tick accelerate the pure daisy to do its thing. So just, yeah, tick accelerate it, and then use a shovel. Sure, diamond shovel. We have diamonds. I'm not too concerned. To get your snow. Fortunately, I broke the one, so 
Oh, look, I do have another bucket of water. Okay. Quickly place that while it's still tick accelerated. And the tick accelerating wore off. Just my luck. Convert. Do the thing. Do the thing quicker than what you're doing now. Okay. Cool. So then we can just get rid of this because this is not where Batania is going to sit up, but that's where we wanted it for now. But we know how to get into Batania now, at least. So we have that going for us. Um, so the snowballs need to be turned into snow blocks. And then those need to go into the um, this guy to make ice. Uh, and it's one to one. So we need four buckets of water and four buckets of ice. So let's go up there and do that. Oh, you know what? I should look into like a uh, Paxel, like um, like a diamond Paxel. So that way we don't have to have all of this stuff sitting on us. Um, it's going to require me to use fully made stuff though, isn't it? Yeah, I have to repair these. That's okay. Let's just make them fresh then. I have the diamonds. I'm not concerned about it. Paxel's nice because it's one tool that does all the stuff for you. Um, so you can just, uh, you have a pick, an axe, and a shovel all in one. So the only thing you got to worry about is having a hoe. Uh, and then to make this netherite, we would just grab a netherite ingot and our smithing table. Slight tangent, but... And then we can just break it, bam. And now we have a nice one item that does all our stuff for us. Um, I do probably need to sleep. I don't know how many nights it's been. So let's go ahead and take a little nap here. Whew, about broke my desk just now. I lifted my leg up by accident. I about popped my desk out of its, uh, I have a glass desk and I about popped the thing out. Uh, anyway. There's those, and then we need to put that into here. You get the water somehow. Nope, that doesn't work. Um, okay, so if I get a um, barrel, can I do this? Put the water in there, and then a pipe. Fluid pipe out of you. And my morphing tool. I love cyclic, but at the same time, sometimes I don't. There we go. Three and four. There's one piece of ice. I don't want to do the put more than one in there because there was another recipe that required three snowball or three blocks. And I don't want to end up doing that one, so. This is what I want. Bam. Okay, so that is four blocks of ice. So now we should be able to make our ice seeds. I just need my Inferium. And like I said, do we need ice seeds? No, not necessarily. Maybe later um, when we start getting into like power for power gen and stuff, ice seeds will be nice, but that's a ways away. But we'll have them. Give me those ice seeds. And that's all the tier one seeds at least. Um, okay, so you can go here. And then in between episodes, I'll get the uh, whole automation thing set up because you already saw me do this. So we'll get this set up. I also need to figure out how to get these like, you know, importing into our system. But we're most likely, most likely gonna be using, uh, I'm gonna start setting up wireless network receivers all over the place really because goodness gracious running all the cables i do not like running cables everywhere uh like having to do this and then run all those cables like like straight down that does not look good at all so we'll set up wireless network receivers that can do all of this stuff for us and we don't have to worry about it i'm also going to go ahead in between episodes i'm going to move i'm going to set up compact machines i'm going to move this into a compact machine 
Um, I'll move, I'll tinker smelter, you can stay here. This obsidian maker can be moved into a compact machine because it's a just basic automation. Um, the latex producer probably will get moved into an uh, industrial foregoing themed compact machine, stuff like that. And then our refined storage, I'm going to move into a compact machine too, but I'll probably show you guys how because it's, you know what, let's do that now. Let's do that now. Um, because moving a compact machine or refined storage into a compact machine is a slightly different process. Um, so what I need is from refined storage, network receiver, transmitter, and cards. Okay. Those three are what you need to get ref wireless refined storage. Um, so obviously, so I mean, it's pretty simple. The transmitter is going to transmit the wireless signal. The receiver is going to receive it. And then the card is what tells the transmitter which receiver to talk to. Pretty simple. Uh, in order to make this, you need netherite, which is why we had to, well, that's why we haven't really gotten into it before, but we have plenty of netherite, so I'm not too concerned about it. Um, so what we need to do, we actually, I'm trying to think, what is our best way of doing this? so that we don't shut our system completely down immediately. Because um, ideally, this network receiver would go oh, somewhere else. Uh, anyway, let's let's just make this stuff and then figure it out. Okay, so what we need, we need advanced processors. So we're gonna need two, we're gonna need four, we're gonna need five total advanced processors. Um, and what did I do right now? I don't even know, uh, silicon. Quartz, look at all that nether quartz that we have. Remember when we were uh, running low on nether quartz? Yeah, that's not happening anymore. Let's put those in there and then we can just bump that there. Okay, so that's the nether quartz. Um, we're gonna need one netherite ingot, two netherite ingots. So those can go in there. Uh, we're gonna need a destruction core, which is gonna require us to make some of these guys. Let's just make a good, you know, 16 of them. Go in there. Uh, so we're going to need a destruction. We're going to need two of each, essentially, because the recipe is just the same thing, just upside down. Uh, so you. You. So that gets us this uh, once I make the machine casing. So that's you and you and then we need a network card okay so the way that this works is we need to set up our receiver our transmitter and our network card okay um, we also need to get ourselves the compact machine that we're going to put this in so let's go ahead and do that as well um, and we're going to be putting this into a maximum size compact machine to be honest most of the time i just go for max that if you end up needing a smaller one, great. But if you need a bigger one and then you already made a small one, it's not, you know, it sucks because then you got to, you know, move all your stuff out. And yeah, it's just a pain. Um, so inside of this, again, we're going to go ahead and we're going to chunk load this. So we're going to claim it, chunk load it. Um, and then we're going to leave because I need to build a floor. This is one of the ones I like to build a floor for because that way I can run cables underneath. So, uh, let's get dark oak. Let's get some dark oak slabs. And um, do I have, I have dark oak slabs inside my dank, don't I? Yeah, so let's go ahead and pump, dump all of those into there uh, and get my wand out. And we're gonna pop into here. I need to work on getting ourselves a building gadget too. Um, but we're gonna not do that one, first off. Let's put that in the right slot because I keep trying to hit that. Uh, so dark oak slabs. We're going to go like this. We'll break that one. And then... I ran out. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. That should be enough. Oh, this is what I what happens when you don't set your uh, 
what's it called properly? Um, oh, and I didn't put any of those back in here. Okay. Yeah, if you don't set your waypoint or your spawn point, you saw I spawned into the slabs, which is uh, not ideal. Just uh, bam. Okay. So then what we're going to do is come over here and boop, set our spawn point over here. Okay. So what we need to do is in the center of this room, which is like here. Did I get that right? No, I did not. That is the center. The center, this is where our controller is going to sit, right? So we can have the controller just sit right in the center of this thing um, and be good to go. So the controller is going to go right there, which means we're going to need to give it power. Um, so we'll grab our point from outside. But that's pretty much, uh, I mean, we, we just need to get everything moved over to there. Here, though, we have all of our drives, all of our stuff. So we need to get the network receiver set up and ready to go, programmed and ready to go before we do anything else. Now, this bedrock is in a, a very inconvenient spot because we have to access this bedrock to make our... What's that stuff called? Um, we have to access that to make our flux. So I think what I'm going to do is... I'm going to remove this for the moment. And I will put that on the side of this. And we're going to come down here and we're going to remove our disk drive. And we'll put our disk drive um, here with all this stuff in it. And then we're going to put our network receiver here. Then we're going to bind this card to it. Bam. Okay, so now this card is bound to this spot. So then what we need to do is move our refined storage into our compact machine and it will then kick all this stuff back on. So we just need to grab this and this and actually let's put that back for the moment uh, and get a cable quickly before we run out of power. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, so I'll put the cable here. So what we're going to do is go into our refined storage system here. We're going to set this controller up right here. We're going to give it power. Um, and power can come from... Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter now, does it? Let's we'll put the power here for now. And then we're going to set our transmitter up here. And we'll put... We're going to set our transmitter up. Is that not, did I not center that? Is this the center of the room? This is the center of the room. Wow. I am horrible. That's the center. Um, we can just put that there and then transmitter can go there. Wrong. Controller can go there. Transmitter. Um, I guess we could have a tower of transmitters or do we want to, you know what? I'm going to put the transmitters. Well, actually, I have to put it there for now because I need to access. I need to go back and get my cables. Um, so then let's get that point. Okay, it's ready there. But that kicked everything back on, you see? Because this receiver is what's, you know, running everything. I don't know why I put all those cables away. I need more of them. Um, but this, we are going to be using a lot more uh, transmitters than I have in the past just because I want to make this look nice. So we're going to go ahead and run a cable all the way down to here and hook that up there and then we can re-slab all of this take this transmitter put it here with the card in there and actually connect it there we go Bam. Okay, so now if we go back to main base, this is back to being active because everything's running off of this network receiver. So to be on, none of this is actually even necessary anymore. Um, but what we want to do is take our disk drive and we're going to bring that over there. And we can set the disk drive, you know, right on top of this guy. 
Um, so we can put this there with our, you know, storage disk in there. And then we can get our, uh, yeah, our pattern grid, our crafting grid and our crafter. Uh, this guy can go here. Uh, I guess right there, because there's nowhere else really for him to go. That doesn't look good, but whatever. Honestly, that can go onto any cable, so I'm probably going to move it to a different section, but that's okay. Uh, so I'll put that there for now. And we're going to come back over here and set back everything up. So our pattern grid, we can set up our pattern grid here so we can make our patterns here, right? Um, and then our crafter is going to get set up here. And then we'll just have crafters boop, going up the wall um so we need to get all of these patterns in here and actually you know what let's go let's go here let's go here let's go ahead and upgrade this crafter since we're here we know we need more room for it um so we need two of these Uh, you get upload upgraded. Um, somewhere there we are, and we'll just upgrade you again. So two diamond ones. Bam, and then gold can get upgraded to a diamond crafter. Uh, but that requires nether stars, so we are not going to do that. Okay, so, but we have gold. Gold's good. Um, so if we put this down now, if I set our spawn point to be here, um, this is now here, so we have a gold crafter, so that holds a lot more patterns. We can get our pattern, and we can put that in there. Um, yep, so that's one pattern. Oh, that's our pattern for patterns. Eh, you go there. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, so that's that. And then it would be nice to get a wireless transmitter out here, but it's not 100% necessary. Uh, I don't want to put this grid in here because I'll end up using it if it is. So let's get another wireless transmitter. Um, actually, let's put these range upgrades into this wireless transmitter. And, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, that's basically, that's that's the setup moving your refined storage into a compact machine. Uh, is it necessary? No, but these end up taking a lot of space. Like we're going to get a bunch of these network transmitters. Also, I want to get a sign. Um, I like to mark these with signs so that I can uh, know exactly what each tr transmitter is for in case it needs moved for whatever reason. Um, I know which one of these transmitters goes to it. So we're going to mark this and we're going to say main. This is our main. Hey, go back up. Main base transmitter. So that's the most important one. Like if that that gets moved, that way we know, OK, we can come back in here, grab this network card and rebind it to this receiver if needed. Um, I don't necessarily care to have this here. So let's go ahead and try and find somewhere else that can go. Um, it can go onto any cable, so that's the uh, nice thing. So if we just come up here, I can just like put it, you know, like uh, sticking off of here. And then those range upgrades can go back in. And there we go. Now we have access to it. And eventually we'll get like a, a dimensional card, so I don't even need that. But for now it's there. And now we don't have that sticking up just in our way. And now we don't have the center of our base just being dedicated to that. We can do stuff in the center of our base. Uh, the flux controller, we can move. Eh, flux controller can kind of go in here too. It's not like something that's super used a lot. So, and actually to be honest, it doesn't even need to go down there. We can just put the flux controller like up here, out of the way. Should turn hover back on because I'm gonna die one of those times that I do that. Um, and then, yeah, so basically that is that. So then what I'm gonna wanna do is teach the system. I'm gonna want like a bunch of stuff. 64 patterns, do we have the ability to do that? No, we don't have any glass, but we need to get our smelter set up. We're gonna move this stuff 
the pulverizer and the furnace. That's all going to get moved into its own system there. Um, let's get signs for now. So this is refined storage. And this was uh, lava power, if I can spell. And that's lava power. So yeah, in between episodes, I'm going to go ahead and um, move this stuff into a compact machine. I'm going to move this stuff into a compact machine for our ore processing. Um, and then we can start working on like, I mean, we can start auto crafting. That's nice. I, once we get into auto crafting and stuff, it really helps accelerate mod packs because we can, uh, you know, we don't have to sit around and watch, look at the crafting GUI the whole time. Because I know that gets boring and annoying just, you know, staring at a crafting GUI as I'm going through making things, breaking, making, breaking, you know, doing all that stuff. It's not, it's not super engaging content. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. In between episodes, going to set that up, get us going. And next episode, this is probably going to look pretty empty and bare up here, but we'll figure something out to do with it. If you enjoyed the episode, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it. It really does help out the channel. And uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.